Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday night. It is the Earth Master out here about 10, 11 p.m. That's California time. January 24th, 2025 is the date here. Going to start off real quick with the uh, space weather activity. Expecting, uh, well, let's check the Earthquake 3D globe real quick, see what the latest earthquake uh, is. Looks like a little 0.7 there across California. Uh, also some movement down there, a three-pointer in South America. But uh, space weather activity, jumping into this real quick, because we are expecting an arrival there of uh, some plasma that's supposed to be headed to the planet and sparking up some auroras with a G1-class storm forecasted. So far, we have yet to see it. And I, I, I mentioned it before in my previous videos here that it was just going to be a, a potentially a little glancing blow there from a plasma cloud. Uh, the detailed forecast here has really backed off in terms of the uh, aurora potential out here with uh, uh, just up KP index up around the four or so. So uh, good possibility, you know, not, I don't want to call it yet, but it's a good possibility that that plasma cloud may have missed the planet entirely. I'm not seeing any signs of it there on the aurora forecast, nothing there on the KP index either. So uh, we'll see what happens for the remainder of the night. I'm not going to stay up and wait for it. As uh, far as any major flaring going, got a number of active sunspots out here on the western limb. But those sunspots are about ready to disappear. Out of sight, out of mind. We'll see what the uh, rest of the sun has to give us in the coming days ahead. Not a whole lot on the earth-facing side right now, aside from these departing sunspots. Um, can't really see anything out here on the eastern limb yet. All right, earthquake activity, uh, last 24 hours of the largest magnitude is going to be this 5.7 down here across Papua New Guinea. Uh, some movement stirring up here across Japan as well, one of the later quakes in a 4.9 range that uh, is north of the Mariana Islands, 27 miles deep for that uh, earthquake there. On Looks like it's a northern Mariana Trench here. Things may be uh, starting to kick back up across this area of the globe after uh, about... Ooh, just got a notice Notice here of a 4.7 coming in to the uh, Cascadia subduction zone, it looks like. Let me see here what we got. Make sure the bells are off, which they are. USGS not picking up on that earthquake yet. Oh, there they are. Uh, 4.7 on the uh, Blanco fracture zone. This is a uh, strike slip boundary. Most of the time, pressure activity off of this region directs down south here into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. So we've got a 4.7 coming in right now off the coast of Oregon. Um, not seeing anything showing up there on the seismograph stations. Dinsmore looks like it's a little offline. I'll have to check that uh, a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, not seeing any, any uh, glimpse of it. That was from... Uh, 2136 so 936 almost well over half an hour ago so i'm surprised that they're just now reporting it but hey better late than never so 4.7 six miles deep watch the southern end here of the cascadia subduction zone uh trimmer map let's go ahead and check out cascadia trimmer see what we have for cascadia trimmer 209 epicenters of trimmer uh, starting to see some here across northern california uh, up around the Oregon area as well. It's a pretty decent uptick. We'll watch the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. It's been uh, it's been quite active down here across northern California recently. And uh, with this renewed activity here in the Blanco fracture zone, that should amplify the strain out here across that region. Uh, further inland, not a whole lot going on for now. Uh, the Bay Area of California, a couple smaller quakes there. Really nothing big going on for now. Southern California has been uh, quite amplified out here across the uh, roughly about the uh, Tehachapi Mountains area southward. Garlock Fault Shear Zone and the White Wolf Fault Zone uh, down to the San Andreas Fault here. Seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity today. Nothing big yet, uh, but it is uh, definitely noticeable here on the map in a uh, arrow type fashion. Uh, left pointing arrow and of course that uh, matches up the uh, topography here of the land with the shear zone interacting with the plate boundary so keep an eye there on the san andreas fault a little bit of swarming going on here 
near the Redlands area, near Minnetone. This region had a couple earthquakes here in the last week. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get my voice back. Maybe, maybe one day I'll be back to normal. Who knows? Uh, but this area, about 34 earthquakes here in the last week, 2.4. Uh, I think um, that was the largest quake there in that sequence. 2.9, it looks like. Uh, but they're still seeing a little bit of earthquake activity there right now. An overall amplified pattern here across Southern California. Nothing big yet, but uh, is it? it is on the move. Plate boundary out here, the San Andreas Fault. A couple of earthquakes there, the uh, Pinnacles area as well. Inland, across the rest of the states, pretty quiet out there. Of course, it is Friday getting into the weekend. Uh, they, the USGS really is not going to import, not going to report these smaller quakes out here until Monday morning. But uh, I do want to double check, see what we have for Yellowstone real quick. Um, there is some earthquake activity showing up out there, it looks like, a little bit. Uh, nothing big. A couple of localized earthquakes here to the seismograph station, as you can see, quite a few smaller spikes. Uh, that earthquake activity showing up here on this seismograph station as well. So legit earthquake activity, but nothing being reported out there. Again, it might be Monday morning before they report any of that earthquake activity, but it's generally very small. Uh, Texas area still seeing some oil field earthquakes. New Madrid seismic zone at little 1.8 from earlier. Nothing new to report. And of course, uh, that 2.4 up in New Jersey... That's uh, an odd earthquake, but it is in a zone that has ha had some uh, historical data. Talked about lower 5.0 earthquakes, and a couple hundred years has passed since we've seen uh, large earthquake activity out there. So things may be uh, getting ready to ramp up for an earthquake underneath New York. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to go to the Earthquake 3D Globe, see what we got. Yeah, aside from the movement here across the Mariana Trench, this region of the Pacific Plate, pretty quiet. Nankai Trough, still have to watch that here. Nothing showing up on it for now, but uh, might see things kick up here following the recent 4.9 across the east side of the Filipino Plate. Typical clustering going on here in a big fashion. Taiwan southward, that's uh, pretty much the crunch zone. Pretty obvious out there. Uh, New Zealand area, some threes across the board. Really nothing major to report. And uh, aside from that, just typical older activity here across this area of the world. Nothing new across the Ethiopia boundary, that uh, rift boundary out there. Uh, let's see. Way up north, looks like around the North Pole area. Got a little 4.5 north of the Greenland region. Well, that's a decent quake out here, 4.7. So uh, we'll have to watch the, uh, the west coast out here. Things may be starting to stir up along the Cascadia here soon. All right, uh, real quick glance here at the fire weather conditions down in Southern California. The Watch Duty app here shows us the latest information from Cal Fire. Uh, not a whole lot of newer fires up north. Most of these are all put out, getting a pretty good containment. We got the border fire down here that's still showing quite a bit of hot spots there across the satellite-based imagery. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's still quite a bit of hot spots out there uh, building up here on the east side of that uh, fire region. Either way, 6,272 acres burned, 10% containment. Again, hot spots showing up. Uh, not a whole lot of wind. I guess that's a good thing for now. But uh, we got that low pressure system here that's going to stir things up over the next 24, 36 hours or so. Uh, forming over the uh, border of Los An of uh, California, Nevada, as you can see there on the map, as we put this into motion here, it amplifies a little bit and brings some moisture there across Southern California. Also, will probably stir up some wind. So hopefully, uh, the rain will be heavier than the wind. Either way, I think a little bit of moisture down there will be good uh, to taper down the uh, fire potential across Southern California. Uh, after that, uh, the storm door opens out here across California, or at least it did. <laughs> it's crazy how quick these models change. Um, looking a little bit less active here now. 
but this could change obviously from tonight till tomorrow morning. But either way, some type of pattern change out here across the West Coast. And it uh, looks like some more cold air there across uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas area, New Mexico, some ice, maybe some severe weather ahead of that cold air. Uh, either way, uh, pretty active pattern as we head into February, it looks like. So we'll see what happens, right? See what uh, plays out here for February. All right, I'm going to call it, folks. Uh, hope everyone has a good night. Live stream is up and running after going down earlier today. It's actually gone down, what, two, three, three times now within the last couple days. But I'm trying a couple different things here to see if I can catch the suspect, uh, the culprit behind it all. I'll let you know. Uh, either way, keep an eye here on the West Coast. Got some further movement here across this uh, Blanco fracture zone. Just a matter of time, I suppose, before we see larger activity out there. But it, who knows? You know, we really can't say exactly with 100% certainty that a uh, big one's going to happen tonight, tomorrow, or in, it's going to happen. But uh, the time frame is out there a little bit. Either way, be safe out there. We'll catch you guys out here uh, a little bit later tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. Have a good one.